What's going on guys, DJ Hscape back with another video. Um, <clears throat> today we're gonna to be taking a look at something different that I typically get a lot of questions on my Instagram page. Um, and it's about the cargos, cargo pants and you know, what brand are they, where I get them from and whatnot. So I've had a few comments, so I feel like, you know, I'm gonna give you the knowledge in order to buy some decent cargos. <clears throat> And just what I wear, you know, I put the pictures up, most of the pictures of shoes like this, I've got the cargoes in. Um, not so many of these, but I'm gonna give you two different types of cargo pants or cargo trousers as we call them, or cargoes in the UK. Um, these, are, these are brands, I don't know if they're available in other countries, but I know for sure they're available in the UK because, you know, that's where I am and that's where I bought them. Um, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, just give it a subscribe if you like the stuff. If you don't like it, then whatever. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm joking. If you don't like it, fair enough. But if you do like it and you come, you come around and have a little look at my videos now and then, please subscribe. Because I think the numbers in terms of like people that actually watch your videos compared to who, who's actually subscribed is like 90 odd or something, 90 odd percent. So I would really, really appreciate it. And we're up to like 150 now, which is crazy, which is really, really good. And I've been hearing some good comments, so cool. So, um, I'm gonna put some pictures up now, okay, of the different types of cargo pattern that I, I wear, okay? So, obviously for bigger shoes like this, obviously I'm guessing everybody knows what this is. If you don't, this is the DC Lynx shoe. It's a very big, chunky shoe, as you can see. So I tend to buy baggier cargo pants to accommodate it. I think if you wear like skinny or even slim or even straight, I think you have to have baggy clothes to pull this off. So, you know, nice baggy um, jeans, you know, the old retro style. You know, I know Carhartt do some really good ones, the relax fit. Um, but yeah, normally with cargos or baggy tracksuit bottoms, like kind of what John Shanahan does. And they're kind of cargos, but they're more trackies rather than actual like fit cargos. So with these ones, I wear baggier pants, okay? Baggier cargos. And I'm gonna show you a picture now. So this is the video. Um, so check it out. This is what they look like when I wear them. So sweet, so you've seen them, um, they're quite baggy, you know, they're quite, they, I think they look well with this shoe, they go pretty well, um, and it doesn't look like ridiculously baggy, because I, I see some people they wear and it's like comes up to here, and you can see the toe, I don't, I'm not really keen on that stuff. You want it so, I like it so it kind of like hangs here, and a bit hangs on the top, and then a bit hangs here. So you can see the whole silhouette, but it looks like nice, nice, um, a nice bagginess to it. So that brand is MFH. Um, let me just find it, just to double check. I think it's MFH. Uh, let's double check for you guys. Yeah. So if you, if you wanna look these pants up, they come in like small, medium, large, XL and whatnot. Um, these are military, so it's these ones here. They're like a nice green and they've got this, you probably can't see it, but on the actual pan themselves, they've got this kind of ripstop. So ripstop is essentially something that kind of, um, you know, you use on military and army stuff to prevent from stuff from ripping. And they have it on some of their normal cargoes like Carhartt use it, I know for sure, um, Dickies do. So that's the olive colorway, the olive color. So this MFH BDU cargo trousers and it will have ripstop stuff in there. So the reason why I love it so much is that you know, one, they're nice and baggy. Um, with these ones specifically, they keep the kind of shape. You know, you somehow have some cargoes and they droop and they, they don't keep their shape. They're nice and thick and you, you know, it's kind of perfect for skating. Because some, you know, you might buy some skinny little, you know, chino ones and they'll just rip like that. With these, they're probably, you know, they might mark them, but they're never gonna rip. Um, well, they might rip, but they'll have a, a longer, 
durability to them when you've fallen off because the last thing you want to do is have a massive hole in your trousers when you're skating um, so yeah these are like in the UK like 32 pounds 32 something like that you probably can look shop around and get them cheaper I think I got these for like even cheaper than that so 20 pound um, but yeah MFH BDU cargo trousers look it up they might have them elsewhere um, but I'm pretty sure you can look in different countries and you'll be able to get them um, or get a similar thing but the thing with cargo is like, I've tried so many, like I've tried a few brands to get the perfect size because some are a little bit, you know, slimmer, some are a little bit baggier, some, you know, are just not that good. So, yeah. So when I wear DC Links or when I wear a bigger shoe, I'd always go to that one. If I'm wearing stuff like this, okay, this is a slimmer shoe. Obviously, I compared the two. You know, it's a lot slimmer. Even though this is not like a super slim shoe, it's not like a Janoski. This is the Nike SB GT Grant Taylor Pro. Um, it's the upgraded one from the normal like Blazer Low, which I really, really like. I had to get it in the black colorway. Um, I use a different brand if I wear kind of with these. Because the MFHs, they're a little bit too baggy, I think. Um, I find, so I'm just trying to find the, So I tend to use a different cargo pant. So while I'm looking it up, check out the video. This is with two different ones. It's with this shoe and it's also with some bouge in it. So check it out and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what, what the brand is. Sweet. So that's what they look like. Um, obviously I paired them with this shoe and like I said, the, the bougie knits. And these are a little bit more slimmer. Um, they are exact same material, you know, same uh, ripstop kind of construction to prevent any ripping of the trousers. Um, but they're a little bit, they're a little bit lightweight, okay? Probably because they're a little bit slimmer and whatnot. But um, these type of pants are called Teaser uh, BDU work, you know, work wear or, or I'm just trying to find what the actual term is for them. Yeah, so they're called Teaser BDU Trousers um, Ripstop. So that the ripstop is just for the, the pattern and to prevent it from ripping. But yeah, B Teaser BDU Trousers. So it's spelled T-E-E-S-A-R. I'm pretty sure you can get these in America. Um, you probably could wear these with the, the, with the links, but I just prefer it a little bit more baggier. Um, the last thing you want is this shoe being like that and then your trousers being really slim. I just think it looks better that way. But it's all personal preference. So yeah, these are the Teaser BDU uh, Ripstop Trousers. Um, these are about the same, about 30 pounds in the UK, uh, just about. But yeah, you get them all different colorways, like, you know, like olive, I've got them in camo, and I've also got them in black. You know, you can't go wrong. And you know, it's an equivalent to getting like Dickies or Carhartts. Cause you can spend over a hundred pound on the Carhartts and I guarantee you it's the exact same material, exact same construction, whatnot. They're probably just slimmed down just for like a lifestyle kind of, you know, fashion sort of sense. And Dickies as well, they're about near enough 80 pounds now, unless you look round, but yeah. So, so I always say, you know, in my opinion, is just go to like military shops or go to like military um, online stores and you'll get like pretty much the exact same thing just without the branding and like at the end of the day who cares that there's not a little Carhartt sign on there who cares there's not a little Dickie sign on there so that's what I go for okay so those are the two ones um, the best shop in the UK if you want them is Military First I don't know about anywhere else in the US or whatnot um, but yeah the brands MFH and Teaser um, that's what I'd recommend so I thought I'd, like I said I thought I'd come on do a little video of some cargos because I know they're quite popular in the skate scene at the moment. A lot of people are wearing them. I see a lot of pros wearing them. 
um, and you don't have to spend super load of money to, to get that kind of look. So, you know, you can grab a pair for 30 pounds and you don't have to go and buy a Carhartt pair for over a hundred or whatnot. So, so yeah, I'll link the two in the description. Um, but yeah, if you made it through to the end of this video, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate that. But until next time, this is DJ H Skate. We out.